Why do you always have to have this conversation with me, Percy? Because ever since New Year's, you haven't been acting like yourself, Thomas. And whose fault do you think that is? I honestly don't think there's anyone's fault but yours, My Thomas. fault? What position do you have to say that this is my fault? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that you've been more rude to everyone and more annoying. Plus, saying that you appreciate me being tortured is not funny at all, you know? Oh, please, Percy, you're acting like I don't know that that stuff's not funny to say. You know, I used to think that your problem was all this change going on, but now I see what the real problem is. It's... Oh, great. Well, hello, you two. It's nice weather we're having, isn't it? I have to admit, I haven't seen the railway so beautiful in a while, considering that I've been in the steamworks for a long time. Express Things coming just through. haven't seemed to have changed over that past period of time. Well, that's the biggest understatement I've ever heard. First of all, we had a new tank engine and a new tender engine over here, plus all the new stuff that's been happening over these past few months. Not to mention you. I mean, look at you. You don't even look like your old self. Your face is smaller, your boiler and everything is just out of proportion, all that stuff. And okay, first of all, all those changes you mentioned are improvements to my design in general. And second of all, I don't know what you're talking about with my face looking smaller. It's literally the same size as it was before I went in for that over. Besides, even if my face is smaller than before it doesn't really change anything okay i'm calling that total bull thomas not at the station there are children over there oh f the children what have they ever done for me anyways they've waved to you they compliment you on your looks not to mention i heard that they sang a song for you while on a field trip at some point in time you mean when i was taking that passenger train to the seaside and those kids were singing their singing was terrible i couldn't stand listening to that song at all is this still about the fact they called you thomas instead of thomas i thought you were already over that stuff oh come on percy they literally called me thomas instead of thomas you don't make that kind of mistake by accident <sighs> you know it's times like this where i wonder if leaving thomas in that field was actually the right decision I mean, it would have spared me season 12's terror with its CGI faces and all the stuff that came afterwards, of course. Ugh, what is wrong with you, Thomas? You're not acting like your usual self at all recently. And it's getting on my nerves more than ever now. Oh, come on, Percy. You're making this sound like I'm the worst engine in the world. And you know that's not true. Well, you might as well because the only thing I ever see you do nowadays is just complain. To be honest, I think Percy's right. I mean, I haven't even been here for an hour, and I can already tell that something's changed in you, Thomas. I mean, last I checked, you were really looking forward to what this year brings, and now you're just acting so off-character for some reason, and that makes me question stuff about you. Question stuff? Okay, this is getting way too out of buffers. I am still the same Thomas you know and love. Okay, I can factually say that that's not even close to true. If that were the case, you would be acting more kind to everyone else. Yeah, Percy's right, Thomas. I mean, the Thomas I know would never say such words in front of children at a station this huge. Well, I... It, well, you're just jealous that you're not number one like I am, of course. Jealousy has nothing to do with this, Thomas. If that were the case, I would have gone to the Steamworks and gotten myself painted blue and painted a number one on my side at this point. My thoughts exactly, Percy. I mean, I was at the Steamworks. I could have asked Victor to do all that stuff to me, but I didn't. That's because you could never compare to me. I'm not comparing myself to you, Thomas. <sighs> oh, Thomas, what have you become? I thought you were better than this. Oh, please. Per no, Thomas, he's right. You used to be the one who used to tell everyone not to worry, but now everyone's worrying about you because you're not acting like your usual self anymore. And that concerns us. Concerns you? Oh, please, Stanley, there's nothing to be concerned. The thing we should be more concerned about is... You. It's your attitude that has everyone worried, and you think you can brush it off and just say nothing's wrong, but... Something is wrong with you, Thomas, and it's only a matter of time before something bad happens. Oh, and speaking of time, 
Percy, isn't it about time you get moving already? Huh? <gasps> oh my, is that the time? Oh no, I'm gonna be running late for my mail run now. Uh, Stanley, can you get out of the way? I need to get moving my train now. Oh, don't worry, Percy. I'll be out of your way as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, Stanley. Thank you. Well, I better be off now, Thomas. Uh, I'll see you later, I hope. Oh, that Percy is getting on my nerves even more than ever recently. But that will not be a problem for too much longer. All in good time. All in good time.